Hello, Libra. It's me, ja <laughs> Alex. I don't know what the hell I was going to say. Oh, I was thinking about Gemini. Okay, thank you. I'm like, who the hell is Jack? Okay. Anyway, hey, Libra Bobo. How you doing? It's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. Let's see what the universe has for you. Oh, no communication? Looks like there's no communication. You're trying to manifest communication. You're wanting communication possibly from somebody who blocked you. Um... Oh, that's that martyr. I can hear you saying I did this and I did that and they had the nerve to turn their backs on me or do this. Okay. Sagittarius here in a double placement. Oh, this could also be financial too. Somebody owes you money. Oh, you're trying. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see what this is. Knight of Cups. So you got quick moving knights. Yeah, somebody owes you something, Libra. Mmm. So we have manifested new love and this person you're in, you're not on the greatest speaking terms. I feel like communication has dropped. Um, yeah, there's minimal communication. I feel like there could have been somebody who is blocked or you're thinking about blocking this person. Somebody could either be saying, stop calling me, stop texting me, right? But somebody wants to clear their name. And somebody wants to move on. Oh, this feels like um, stalker energy, right? Because somebody feels like you, Libra, are their perfect person. They keep calling you, trying to get you to call them back. You're like, no, stop calling me. I'm going to block you. But please just give me a chance. I want to explain. Could you come see me? And if you come see me, everything will work out. Oh, okay. Well, that's one storyline. What about the old money? Angels are saying that's family, family related. And you're calling to ask about your money. Your person's either not answering you. Um, yeah, and then anger is arising. You're trying to reason with them. Listen, I, I loaned you that money out of the goodness of my heart. If I knew you weren't going to pay me back, I wouldn't have given it to you. That's what I'm getting here. And it's almost like if they just pay you back, you guys would be good in the hood. Well, that was short and sweet. So what do we see happening? Instincts. Instincts. Queen of Wands. Oh, this could be child support as well. Somebody is owed child support or past due on child support. Okay, Six of Wands kind of says you guys will be able to work this out. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, child. You got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Tempers are rising. But I feel like you'll. this is a new beginning, right? This kind of says everything is resolved. We can start over. Payments are on track. They're up to date. You know, you're going to make these payments. We have new agreements going forward. Um, angels are also saying alimony as well because I do have a couple and their child. Okay, somebody stopped making payments. Now, you do have all of the court card wands, the king, the knight, the queen, the page. I feel like this is custody in all honesty. And y'all are going to have to go to a third party to resolve it and bring everything back into balance and alignment. I feel like somebody here is, you know, kind of trying to be, you know, do things from their heart, trying to be fair. Um, angels are also saying to trying to maintain the love, right? Angels are saying also too, your person is still in love with you, right? They still love you. They're still in love with you. And they're really trying to do the right thing. 
but I feel like whatever this lack of money or shortage in money, shortage in time, whatever happened here with the cutoff of money or time or energy, that is what interrupted this process, okay? But it interrupted the process. Somebody's holding back, being stingy, just doesn't have it, scraping the bottom. You guys are going to resolve it. It's going to take some effort. Don't get me don't get me wrong. It's going to take some effort, but I feel like you guys will get this worked out. We have divine feminine and divine masculine. Uh, uh, emotions are running high here. But you also have the lovers with the page of, excuse me, the knight of cups. Yeah, this is a couple. This is this is a couple. You guys are a couple. Like I said, you're married, four of wands, and there is a disagreement about somebody withholding or holding back. Uh, angels are saying as a sidebar, there could be somebody who's needy, right? Somebody who is codependent and somebody has stopped, turned off, shut down, and you guys have been battling. You could have two kids. Y'all have been battling. She's arguing, and I'm just using the card gender. She's arguing, you ain't been giving it the same, or are you out there cheating because, you know, you just, things just don't feel the same. He's like, you know, I love you. I just been working my ass off, and I don't want nobody else. And here's everything that's in between you because these cards technically are in between the king and queen. If you guys just kind of talk this out, one person is exhausted. I feel like that could be the king, Leo. And, but I also feel like this exhausted person is going to have to lead the conversation because this thing is supposed to work itself out, right? You have two karma cards here. You have destiny, destiny or destiny cards, right? You have the world and you also have the wheel of fortune. You also have the six of wands. So you guys are going to get past it. You just kind of need to meet in the middle. First, you need to calm down. Second, meet in the middle and just discuss it like adults. And then third, come up with a plan to move forward. And you guys are supposed to level this back out. It's almost like peace is restored is what I'm hearing. We have Gemini and Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Sag, Aries, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, uh, Capricorn, and Capricorn. So a lot of Capricorn and Leo here. All of the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got Gemini sprinkled in here. Not a whole lot of love cards, right? Not a whole lot of cups. I'm looking for the cups now. You got the knight. That's not a cup. That's the lovers, right? And you got the um, high priestess, which is Cancer. So is that the only cup and emotion represented here? It sure is, right? So there's a lot of emotion, but that emotion is anger and frustration versus love and compassion. And you have Gemini here twice and Virgo. You have uh, Capricorn and Virgo. So meh, a little bit of grounding. Yeah, the tensions are high here right? The tensions are just high. And I feel like you guys are arguing back and forth. Meditation brings answers. That just confirms that this is a hotly contested situation. And uh, you guys just may need to calm down so you can re recenter. Look, success. Told you it's sitting right there. As in, you know, you'll close this one out. You'll be able to put this one behind you and start anew. Six of Wands, uh, Wheel of Fortune. You're going to get past this, Libra. Confirmation. Yes. Within the next few weeks. So it's almost like take some time, you know, go get a milkshake, chill out, and uh, calm down first. Spite is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you guys need to stop because you're not resolving anything with all this issue and anger. Have faith in your dreams. A fiery climax approaches. I'm telling you, there's a lot of wands on this table. It's time to take action. That damn Aries with that ram. We don't need Martian energy mixed in here. 
what do you need to release angels are saying there's a lot of resentment envy envy um and it could again have to do with why somebody has shut down or cut something off and i feel like they might have shut it down or cut it off spitefully all right libra i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here if the reading does resonate don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you're interested in a personal reading my contact uh, the link to schedule a reading is in the description box below i love you libra bye